Um, I see a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. Oh, whoa. Welcome to episode 53. In this episode, we're going to do another what sold over the weekend video. But full disclosure, I've been a little bit distracted. I love basketball. I love March Madness. From Thursday to Sunday, I've watched a ton of basketball and uh, probably done a little less work than I should have. But we still sold some stuff. I think we sold a total of 13 items, which is a little below our average. I don't think any of the stuff was really a... Uh, high priced either but you know that's how it goes sometimes um still a decent weekend i'm not gonna complain plus like i said i watched a ton of basketball and did not work as much as i should have probably uh a few of the things were purchased on friday before i did all my packaging and went to the post office so i've already shipped out four of the items that sold i always try to ship as fast as possible i always say that to you guys that's just a kind of a cheat code, a good way to get uh, positive reviews. Make sure you package very professional and ship very fast and you'll get a lot of good reviews. I think we're cruising up towards around 3,000 positive reviews, uh, almost 8,000 items shipped in the last six, seven years. But uh, anyway, let's get into it. Uh, first, we sold this set of two vintage michael hudson art glass twisted glass candlesticks now these are really cool candlesticks but i was and i'm pretty confident in my shipping abilities but i was a little nervous about shipping these i don't know if they've arrived yet because i shipped them on friday uh hopefully they make it safely i always try to pack your stuff really well but uh these things were just very fragile and the, the shape of them and stuff made it a kind of a challenging uh, my wife said i should do a shipping video for when i have stuff like that because uh it's just interesting to see how i do it but uh maybe i'll get into doing one of those one day um like i said i was a little intimidated uh, shipping these myself which i'm generally not but uh we sold those we accepted an offer for those for 60 dollars and i'll uh, throw a picture of the candlesticks up for you guys to see you'll see why uh it was a little intimidating to ship them hopefully they make it safely i'm expecting i think they went to uh new york possibly somewhere like that so they should arrive i should on friday today or tomorrow so i should find out if uh they made it safely or not next we sold a lot of 32 metal cookie cutters uh i accepted kind of a low offer on these just because we had had them for a while and i'm pretty sure these came for that house clean that we did so we we still got stuff in that house clean like i said our storage unit still has a ton of stuff in it from the house clean out but uh, someone offered $15. I think we had them listed for, I don't know, $25, 30 something like that. Somebody offered $15. I didn't even count her offer. I just took it. Next, we sold a new sealed Dr. Brandt Pours No More Purifying Cleanser. Uh, sold that for $14.99. And the last thing that I sh that shipped on Friday was... A vintage McCoy USA Pottery embossed uh, daisy flower red pitcher, number 619, nine inches tall. Uh, I accepted an offer also on that. Uh, had it listed for $24.99. Somebody offered $20, so I accepted it. Now we can move into the stuff that I have to ship today. Uh, I have nine items I got to ship today. Um, like I said, we're a little slow, but... I I can't complain. I watched a ton of basketball this weekend and didn't do as many listings and other stuff that I probably should have, but this is like my favorite time of year. I love basketball and I love watching hoops. Like I said, being from the state of North Carolina, there's a lot of good college teams and uh, they're all still on a turn, most of them. <laughs> but the first thing here was this 12 Days of Christmas Charm Bracelet, Sterling Silver in the box uh accepted an offer on this as well sold this for 14 dollars uh, next more i always say this you guys probably get tired of hearing me say it but brass stuff sells uh this vintage brass wall hanging horseshoe two hook key holder Sold this for $15.19, so that must have been like a percentage off on that because that's just an odd number to sell something for, but 
Sold that for $15.19. Oh, we sold next, we sold this Longa Burger Multicolor Striped Denim Tote Handbag. Uh, they usually make baskets. I was kind of surprised to see a, a tote made by Longa Burger. They usually make weeds baskets. Um, we sold this for $15.99. Next here, I took an offer on these probably lower than I should have, and it's not going to be the easiest to ship because they want to combine the shipping, and it's three planters and a vase. It's like Art Deco style uh, green and yellow planters. There's the green one. The yellow one. They also bought same person. Also purchased this McCoy 1940 Deer Doe Fawn Planter. Uh, you see, it says McCoy on the bottom down there. And they also purchased this Cookson Vintage Cookson Pottery Drip Glaze Planter. So I'm gonna have to ship all of these together. I'm gonna have to go buy a box from Home Depot because that's gonna require a little bit bigger box in order to ship these safely. But uh, we took an offer on these for $56.50, which is kind of low, but I don't know, just keep it moving, I guess. Honestly, I think when I accepted the offer, I thought these were like small planters. <laughs> and then I looked at them like, oh, those are bigger than I remembered them being. But what are you gonna do? Keep it moving. Like I said, we got a ton of stuff, so sell it, ship it, keep it moving. And Amy did a little sourcing this weekend, so we got more stuff to list, as always, which is good. Um, she said she didn't buy enough stuff to make a haul video, but when I looked out in the garage, it seemed like a good amount of stuff, so I don't know. Maybe we'll figure out a way to put together a haul video. Uh, I don't know if she recorded much when she was out sourcing, but uh, moving on... Next, we have this vintage 1953 McCoy pottery two-handled vase. It's an ivy vase. And we sold this one for $44.99. You can see the McCoy on the bottom. It's kind of weird how that works like that. We sold a bunch of uh, planters and vases for some reason. And next, we sold... I'll put this back down here. Now, I'm not going to say this right. Our Bon FC5 Ultra Hydrating Hand Cream, new sealed. Took an offer on that also. Uh, I believe it was listed for 30 or something like that. Somebody offered 25 and I accepted it. And lastly here, I also took an offer on these, but I took a... Once again, I, love. I took a little bit of a lower offer, but like I said, keep it moving. Get the stuff out of here. We've had these for a little bit, so they're cool. These um, Global Views Triple Arm Wall Candle Sconces with a flame and torch, silver and wood. Uh, I had these listed for, I believe, $149. Somebody offered $95, and I accepted it. Um, just because I'd had them for a while, and I might as well just get them out of here, you know. $50 a piece, that ain't too bad. So, uh, I accepted it. And I believe, if my count is right, that was a total of 13 items Friday to Sunday. Which is low, like I said, normally we're in that 17 to uh, low 20s range, but I can't really complain because I didn't put a whole lot of effort in this weekend. Like I said, I was distracted watching hoops. 13 items sold. None of them were expensive. Those sconces were the most expensive thing we sold. We sold those for 95. Everything else was kind of lower dollar items, which you need a mix of all of that stuff. You know what I mean? Like the bigger ticket items mixed with the smaller stuff. Uh, smaller stuff a lot of times easier to ship anyway, but uh, we had a slower weekend uh, We sold a total of three hundred seventy six dollars and sixty six cents Which honestly if I'm being frank isn't that great But I can't complain because I didn't put a ton of effort in this weekend because I was watching hoops 
But anyway, that's what sold for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to try to get another video for you guys by the end of the week. Uh, same situation, though, because hoop starts back up on Thursday. But I want to get something done before then. Maybe I can go out there and um, put together all the stuff that Amy got Saturday sourcing and do some sort of haul video for you guys. But uh, that's it. We'll see you next time. As always, visit our store at CoastalResaleTherapy.com. The link will be posted in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.